Hello. The following conversation took place last Wednesday, December 19th, 2012, on the Coctopus Prime Blog TV channel. The participants were Coctopus Prime, Dark Matter 2525, Grappling Ignorance, Live Life 8072, myself, and Nephilim Free. We were discussing gun control in the United States, the result being an entertaining and extremely heated exchange of ideas, where Coctopus ends up kicking Nephilim Free off the panel due to his description of how when God kills children, it's in fact humane. I can't imagine you're not familiar with all the participants on the panel, but if you are, you must check out their work. Links in the underbar. I would like to thank everyone for allowing me to participate. Specifically like to thank Nephi for having the courage to come into this dragon's den of atheists. Also, I would like to say a special thanks to Live Life for recording and distributing this to us. But most of my thanks must go to Coctopus Prime for having me on and providing us with one of the most entertaining 30 minutes of blog TV I have ever experienced. I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. There are other people in the Skype call, so I'm going to give some time to them uh, as they want to uh, ask questions. Yeah, I just wanted to go real quick. Oh, go ahead, Dark. Uh, sorry, this Dark Matter. Uh, the shooter, uh, Adam Lanza, and his mother were uh, regu- regular churchgoers. Yep. Uh-huh. That's what I was going to bring up. Yeah, well, they were. How much of that their life does that... What does that really tell you about their life? Does that really tell you a whole lot? And that only gives you a slice of the pie. But did they have a disjointed family? Was there a discordance between the family, uh, the kids and the parents? Did well, they uh, well, did they well, play church together? That, you know, is, did they eat dinner together? Spend time together? Did, you know, after work, did the dad go off and sit and, and do this his thing? Mom do her thing, and the kids off playing, you know, uh, playing video games or listening to their music. And you know what I'm saying? Family time, talking together, well, being okay, together. That's, yeah, but that's a lot of, of that's a lot of story for a lot of kids. But they don't go running off shooting. You know, not a bunch not of only kids. that, but it was the mother who had the guns. Show so. Whether they had family times or she thought there was something wrong with her son at some eventual point, she still kept all those guns in the home, and he obviously had access to them. Mm. Okay, so what are you are you trying to say that uh, having a strong, uh, well rooted family that shows that, that teaches their uh, parents that teach their kids to love and respect each other and love life and have respect for other people and to be well-rounded psychologically and to have a, do, you know, a good, do, strong sense that their parents love them and care for them and concerned about their future and that, no, that kind of thing. No, You're not trying to suggest, are you, that those things wouldn't be... Uh, no, you, didn't have a that, no, you, said, on, you didn't say that. You said Christian. No, right. Let me... Let me um, Guys, well, I, 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 no, no, no. Nephilim, Nephilim, you're old enough to remember the Menendez brothers, right? Yeah, the two fellas that killed okay, her okay, so, over so, the house money yeah, or something exactly. like that. Exactly, and they were given very good lives, mm-hmm. and they still <laughs> went ahead, even though they were raised in affluence. Mm-hmm. They Not only did they murder their parents, well, they did, did it the without affluence? guns. So did that almost affluence? helps the point of like how guns don't make a difference. Well, did the affluence change anything? Is uh, how does I, I wouldn't say that just because they were raised in affluence, Again, did they have a strong family unit where they raised with, the, with strong moral natural, values and, and, and uh, these sort of things? The natural idea is that being raised in affluence means that you have dinners with your family. No, it doesn't necessarily. So, that's not true. Not there, there are plenty of rich kids the, that, are, yeah. have, that, that have uh, you know, lousy family relationships. Well, but that's the idea rich. here in America is the more wealthy you are, the better off your family will be. And no, the, the I don't agree with that. that. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Cocktopus, no, r- r- real quick. Cocktopus, hold on. Everybody, that's hold not on. not true at all. Some of the closest knit families in this world are poor people. That's man. fine. Hold on. Dark Matter, uh, you go grappling ignorance and then back to Kaka and Nephi. Oh, are you, are you the moderator? Say, yes. All right, heard. I, d- I just don't think. See, I think this started out as a, you know, a Christian thing, and then, you know, Nephilim kind of moved it to, you know, a strong family ties thing. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm happily no, married. I, man I think they and... did. I think they did move it to something that's, uh, you know uh, other than uh, the Christian thing. But but I I mean Christian or not, I think uh, having a strong family which uh, has a lot of love, whether you're a Christian or Hindu or something else, I think that's going to result in people who are more 
uh, uh, you know, psychologically well balanced kids that are psychologically well balanced in a disjointed family where the kids go do their thing and the parents do their thing and they don't spend time to each other with each other. The parents are never trying to correct their kids. And, I mean, I'm not saying can, that's can, the case. Wait, with can, me. can I? You know, I don't know that that's the case. Can because I? Can I ask whether I haven't what, investigated the lifestyle of this kid or anything? I don't know anything about his life. Can, can I ask whether um, those parents, those Hindu parents, who try and raise their child right, does it matter to you that your religion teaches that not only the parents but their children should burn in hell for not being Christian? Well, uh, there is uh, a price for wrongdoing in every religion. Even, even though they've lived their lives uh, and taught their children right, as you su you say that even Hindus teach their children the right thing to do, mm -hmm. but they still deserve to burn, right? Well, I don't see how uh, the penalty for sin uh, figures in myself. I don't see how that 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 figures in. Sin, uh, sin, know, sin is what the children are doing, though, according right. Yeah, but teaching people the penalty of sin doesn't lead them to God. Teaching them the love of God leads them to God. So, uh, go ahead, uh, Dark Matter Phase Shop, then Grapple on Ignorance. Good. Negation, whatever. Go ahead, Dark Matter, if you um, want to finish up, if not, Grapple on. I, I was thinking, uh, see, I'm not, I'm not for, you know, uh, this, this strict gun control, I, I'm, I'm a well, little me, more, I, I, you know, you know, as far as like um, like gun locks and things, I was thinking, you know, that this th th it seems to me that this problem, if you want, you know, this problem occurred because of a uh, technological advancement that our constitution. There seems to be a gap where when it was written and when the technology advanced, bearing arms means, you know. A greater responsibility now more than ever. So I'm thinking, what if technology can help solve the problem? Like um, instead of a gun lock, what about a gun that can only fire for certain people? Like you know, a fingerprint recognition. Well, they have that technology already. It's just expensive to implement. Mm -hmm. you know? Right. Yeah. I was thinking. You know, like um, you know, I know that they can do that. I mean, you you. you uh, see in the new James Bond movie actually his gun can do that um, but I think that would be a good idea if like if, if that was standard on all guns like it has to be registered it has to only fire for the person that it's registered to mm -hmm. Grappling? I wouldn't be opposed to that I think that, that that's a pretty good idea if the technology doesn't hinder the user himself from using his gun whenever he wants to or quickly I think right. that's I have no issues with that at all yeah well, grappling the, grappling go yeah um I would I would agree pretty wholeheartedly there and, and yeah those things are going to be expensive and there there of course would be a a significant time period of overlap between when that could actually be implemented and of course we can we can try to use legislation to control these things all we want and we, we can try to work our way around those things but um, the bottom line comes down to the fact that no matter what you regulate no matter what you outlaw you are still empowering criminals when you make those laws you're putting money in the hands of the people that can get you a gun without that restriction. Um, you're putting, you're putting, uh, if it's a gun lock or if even if it's a fingerprint coding, you're putting money in the pockets uh, and, and putting yes. a, a business to those who can get around it or are willing to take the risk. Well, let I, me ask you a question. Do you think if, do you think if we made it nearly impossible to get a gun, that the only people that had guns? Were, would be law-abiding citizens who wanted to use them for lawful purposes like self-defense or hunting? Uh, no, absolutely not. No. I think okay, so gun laws are not going to stop the criminal from getting his hand on a gun, isn't that which, true? Which was exactly the point I was making. Exactly. Yeah. Well, no, that, that only goes to a certain degree because gun laws in other countries are very strict and the gun fatalities because of them are much lower. Uh, that that mm. argument... I that argument that's a false equivocation. No, the... the the amount of gun deaths in a home that where they have a gun because of accidents or misfirings or things like that is equivalent, if not higher, than the number of people who shoot criminals dead defending their property. Or uh, okay, so should we 
should the question comes then after this we, grab uh, up. should we implement a law that makes it difficult for anybody to have or even or to even possess or use a firearm for their own for lawful purposes simply because we can point to the uh, to the nutty exceptions in society well I, I think there's got to be some consideration of a balance there surely yeah, these kinds of things are tragic there's there, no doubt there, about there that there is a balance there is yes, a balance and but, it, it's saying that like okay we're not going to outlaw knives because knives can be used to kill people we're not going to outlaw cars because cars can kill people uh, th th these are things that we understand as a society we should also understand that guns make it much much easier for the people who are crazy mm -hmm. to so, commit so if violent they outlaw guns, guns so who's going to have guns but the outlaws Right. If well, you can't government, have a gun, the government who's going to have one? Money. The government is already the outlaw. Our, our our U.S. government. You should agree doing doing drone strikes on on people. We're not even sure who we're dropping bombs on. Yeah. Uh, it's World War Two. If we want to go back in history, dropping atomic bombs on cities and innocent people. This is not something that like. Just might is right is not the answer in every case, is my point, I guess. Well, I, I'm I agree not agree with that. But I don't think taking away gun rights, uh, the gun ownership rights, is going to solve the issue at all. I think somebody who's willing or determined to, uh, to uh, use a gun to break the law, to rob and steal and pillage, they're going to do it anyway. They're going to get them off the street. They're going to get a gun somehow. They're going to get some guy who's... You're going to have but guys that have a legal to right to get guns some way. They're going to get them from, from, from dirty fellows in the military. They're going to, there's a shipment of, of military rifles going to turn but up missing and, and nobody that, knows where they went. But, you know, they're on the street now. Well, you, know? you understand that making guns easily available for everybody does not solve that issue at all. Right, but taking away gun rights for anybody doesn't solve it at all. No, 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 no. Restricting guns to those who have proved that they are will, you know, capable of handling them correctly, mm -hmm. is what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm not talking about taking away your guns. I'm talking about making sure that you're not just. You know, <laughs> If well, we've already done that sort of. Because we, you have kids. to be twenty-one to buy a gun, and you have to go through an FBI. Okay, so it's, yeah. that's that's what there are extremely tight gun laws in Connecticut, and this woman whose child shot up all these kids, she passed all those strict gun laws, and guess what? Her kid just had access to her guns and killed her first. So where what, where is the solution? Yeah, I don't know. The the solution is in man's heart. That's what it is. People people are screwed up. People have a bad ideas, and uh, people have messed up lives. So you would disagree with until you. until that can be solved, and I don't think that's ever going to be solved until the end times. Uh, th this kind of thing is just inevitable. So All right, can would, we just would, give would, a? No, 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 hold on, hold on. Uh, you would disagree right. with people like Brian Fisher and Mike Huckabee, who say that these things happen because we took God out of schools and their prayers. Well, has Mike Huckabee actually said that? I don't. Yeah, I yes, he did. On the here, radio. Here we, no, no. Here we go. I, I will. Uh, don't don't play any videos. Audio, he probably seen it. No, don't play the audio. Don't play the audio. If he said that. I, I, I'll believe you. It's no, fine. No, no. But, no, no, but, no, no but, I, I don't need to. I think he may have alluded to that. He may have, and I think he's partially, at least partially. Guys, right hold up here. That. Don't worry. Don't play it. Don't play it, Cocktopus, please. All right. We already know it. Please negation. Go. You haven't said anything. Negation and grappling ignorance, and then back to Cocktopus. God. Let me, let's look at it this way. You know, I, here's something that I think some are unwilling to face or acknowledge is true. In 1950 or 1940, how often did this kind of thing happen? All right, negation, go. Think, You're the statistics guy. I don't think guy. anybody in, can ever in, cite a single case. In maybe 1800, it, maybe it how did. often did it happen that, that maybe, 25 maybe it happened. But wait, please school. let me finish my searching. Uh, uh, how often did it happen in 1940 or 50? Probably almost never. There may have been a handful of cases between... 1800 and 1940, where this kind of thing has been recorded in history to have what, happened. What, what is the point there? Uh, okay, the point is, in the 1940s and uh, 50s, especially the 1950s and early 60s, every every all manner of attempts were att were made to remove God to remo uh, from from so from, are, from from the world to, to remove also to teach uh, the fallacious ideas of uniformitarianism and evolutionism and claim that God didn't create a thing, and 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 immediately in the 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 preceding decade after that the abortion rate 
the the uh, suicide rate for teenagers, yeah. the uh, the murder rate, and the the uh, uh, dropout rate, and the abortion rate uh, not abortion rate but the the motherless uh, uh, I mean uh, fatherless child rate all skyrocketed in the, over the next fifteen oh, years. Okay, well, here here's what so I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you if, the first. Are you, you telling agree. me you don't see a relationship? Here's, here's who you agree with. Okay, uh, Cock, I don't no, think... No, you're going gonna to watch it. Wait a second, Cock. He's not on a blog, remember? He logged out, so he's not going to be able to see He's it. not going to be able to see it, so it doesn't right. matter. I, I, he I doesn't think I could be largely right. Give, give me about 30 seconds of here. <clears throat> okay, thanks. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait. So, so he's yeah. not even... <laughs> Cock, he's not, he's not watching blog anymore, remember? Because when he was doing feedback, he logged back out. He's, so a, he's not going to be able to no, see. No, he's got to. He's got to know. There's no way he's putting this time in without okay. knowing how many people are listening to him. Well, I understand that, but but let me um, let me. I got I got a point. I'd really like. Yeah, to Yeah, let on. negation go well, next. I mean, please. Go ahead. But I mean, th this is th the whole point is that he totally agrees with Brian Fisher and Mike Huckabee. Well, let him go on that That's then. Fine. Everybody does. Does. say the piece. Let peace. him present that argument and let's argue. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, right, let's let's, let's go argue. With it. Let's, yeah, let's let, go, let, but I want him to know that he's agreeing with him because I asked him if he agreed, and he's like, "I don't know about that." Well, I want like him that. to know that he. Yeah, agrees just with tell him. That. Just tell him that he he does. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, and it, let's not fight over little semantics and who he no, does. I'm not and trying to do that. I'm trying to make sure that the evidence that or the the point that I'm trying to make is backed up. And, and negation will explain it when he comes back. Just as soon as he comes yeah. back. It, it, yeah, it doesn't matter if he agrees with. Them just anyway. pose the question exactly. right before you go on your point. rant. Negation. That's all. No, I, I'm not going to go on a rant at all. I'm, I'm definitely a, you know, with Nephi, him being the the expert. I mean, if you will, the expert on religion in this panel. I definitely want to hear his his side of the view. So I'm just going to pose a question and let him, you know, take it because, you know, he he definitely is good at that. So I want to let him. I want to let him air his his uh, views on this. Well, the whole point is to let him get 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 his point out. We're not trying to silence anybody or be that's, like you know. Yeah, that's it. So, so we're not let, trying to be one sided here. Exactly. Neff, are you there? I'm here. I just okay. do see a relationship, and I, I see that atheists often try to deny this relationship. I think All it's right. quite clear. The numbers speak for themselves, I think. Well, Neff, that's, to me, that's kind of interesting, because the thing that I would cite there, and uh, you know, again, like, I, I don't know if you heard me, but you being the, the expert in this, is I'm definitely interested. And again, thanks for coming on and taking my um, Skype request. That was, and, that uh, yes, thank you. for. I'm the one running this blog TV, and I would also like to thank you. Well, thanks uh, for inviting me. But but what your numbers would seem to disagree is if you look at um, Europe and the UK in particular, um, they've literally taken taken their churches and turned them into um, dance clubs, tattoo parlors, um, you know, all kinds of things that are in a lot of the. You could definitely look at the Bible and see that not only is it uh, it's the Bible, but some people would consider it blasphemous. And we don't see that over there, and the correlation would seem to indicate that if there would be a, a country that would not be under the protection of God anymore, um, Europe and specifically the UK should fall under that. Um, and if you know if if what you're saying held true, then we should really see a lot more of this type of thing in Europe. Well, well, I'm not an expert on that matter, the difference between Europe and the United States, but I can give you a couple of things to consider. The United States, people in the United States live under a much more pressured situation than people in Europe. Did you know the average European works five and a half hours a day? Yeah, I in know. America, the Amer average American schmuck works eight to 12 hours a day. <laughs> well, that's largely in part. No, look at the Middle the East. Go on these statistics and, on the Middle East, and, too. <laughs> and, and, and it goes, and there's more than that. Uh, I mean, uh, in, in Europe, they've they've had largely they've had a lot of their rights already taken away. So these people have already been sheepled already to some degree. What about the theocracy uh, so, that in, so in other when, when Middle East when countries? You've, when you've domiciled the, the population to some degree, you get less resistance. Isn't that the kind of theology behind a lot of uh, tyranny ty uh, tyranny in the world? But but, but uh, in communism, you know, indoctrinate and then and they also they they, they grow into sheeple. That's okay. the kind of way, I and that, that's kind experience. of what's happened. Then, um, that's kind then of happened to Europe, and so and 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 uh, they get. 
I, I know their taxes are higher and the gas price is ridiculous. What's it like five and a half, six and a half dollars a gallon? But how much do they need to drive in Europe? They don't drive much. It's irrelevant. Grappling ignorance. Miles or less from his place of employment. Grappling. So I mean, so what I'm trying to say is. Uh, there's a lot less stress to being, and they get free medical care in, in a lot of these countries, or it's, it's dirt not cheap. Free, they and, get taxed for it. In, in the United States, the cost of medical care, although it's the best technology in the world, is so high that there are parents that can't afford to take their kids to the doctor when they get the flu. Yeah, grappling. Okay, but, but Neff, but Neff, Neff right. it seemed like you kind of you went off, um, we yo, went off yo. topic there because we were asking about protection from God, and you seemed to switch over to pressure no, on humans. No, what so I was, I was wondering is. Is that in Europe, uh, they, uh, people live a much stressed life overall. They have okay, a much more leisurely that, lifestyle, and some of that, their social norms are, are are fixed by a socialist government. So, but I'm not, they, under, but I'm not understanding how that would um, well, negate. Well, that trickles down to the mindset of the children. You see, if they if they don't in America, a kid grows up thinking, "Oh my God, I've got to make X thousands of dollars just to pay for my kid's shoes between the time they're born and before they before they're twenty and they leave the house." I mean, I mean, and then how am I going to get this? How am I going to do that? How am I going to do that? I can't even. It costs a hundred dollars just to see a general practitioner, emergency room uh, ride to the emergency room, three hundred fifty, four hundred dollars. So, wait, 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 are you are you making? I get all that. Are you making an argument for social medicine? No, that's no. what it sounds like. Uh, I'm saying, I'm saying that the pressures of being an American are higher than than, than of life. Because we're are higher because than because our English. fucking country is more messed. Up. I'm sorry, I don't mean to curse. I, that's just my style. Usually, well, I'm trying. Well, that's a separate subject as to whether it's messed up or not. More okay, that's no, another but, thing. But, the but point I'm making is that kids. Nef, 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 nef. Let cock for You're saying that our lives are more stressed because. Our health care system is less. Um, that figures into it. It's all I mean. Well, yeah. So we're we're more screwed up than them, and we need to be worried about their system. No. Well, I think there's truth in that. Yeah. Well, no. There's absolutely no. Their, their system. Well, I'm not going to get into a big debate break, about you know, Europe and the United States well, because that's that gets into Europe. I can bring this up. Europeanism and Americanism, and I don't really feel like going there. No, okay, that's, that's okay. Just, I'm so talking we don't have quick. to go there, but you did bring it up. What I would like to come back to is that you agree with Brian Fisher and Mike Huckabee and anyone else that says that it's because we've taken religion out of schools and out of the public square and, and whatnot and we, we, where government is providing abortion. And that's why we should let children be murdered. Well, You're, kids could still it, pray in school, it, it, by the way. Oh, no, 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 I've never, no, no, I've never said anything. That's why we should let children no, be murdered. That's the excuse you give to your God okay. in order no, to see. allow the children. Why wasn't God Cock. there? Well, no. we didn't Cock. invite him. Cock. No, him, I don't make any explain. such assertion. Don't, yeah, don't they, put they, words they, in his mouth, Cock, because yeah. that's just going to get us fighting. Let, let yeah, him no, I don't say that. I don't say that we should let kids be murdered. People that say that. Neff, I'm sure you understand what he's discussing right now with Brian Fisher and uh, Huckabee, but go ahead and explain it if you want to. Yeah, I do, but no, I don't think that we should have let kids get murdered. No, I think that's not that, – that's a non sequitur. I think – Well, what's your take on what Brian Fisher and Huckabee said? What is your take on that about taking God out of school, I think supposedly? He, I think uh, Huckabee is largely right in that the decay of moral uh, – uh, the, the, the morality of the United States is partly to blame for it. Can okay, kids so, – can so, kids so, – hold on, hold on. Can kids no, pray in school? My blog TV. You'll shut the fuck is up. it legal? You, no, you'll listen. You'll listen to me, goddamn. <laughs> come on, guys. Just don't, come on, this, no, come on this, God, this, don't, don't have, cuss, man. He's have, been, he's been very, very, very gracious in coming in. So let's let's give him some. No, 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 no. I was actually talking to Live Life that he'll listen to me. Nephilim can say whatever yeah. he wants. He is my guest. <laughs> Live Life is also my guest, but he knows not to moderate when I need to say something. You're <laughs> saying that you agree. That it's God being taken out of you agree with Huckabee that it's God not no prayer in school and God being taken out of the public square, but that simply means that God your God that you worship is so upset he's God. so upset about not being worshipped constantly by everyone that he's willing to p punish children who had nothing to do with it Whoa. or allow really? or allow them to be killed. How, how did God? Because he had nothing to do with with these decisions that were made. How did God cause that kid to do anything? No, no, no. That's God, a huge no, no. non sequitur. God, huge, 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 huge non sequitur. No, no, no. Are that you watching work. the blog TV right now? I just, I don't know. Are, you, are you watching the blog TV? God, you right. can't say God caused that. No. Well, who caused it then, nephew? Who caused it? Can I ask a follow? Can I ask a follow up on this real quick? 
Neff, does God, I mean, do you, uh, in Exodus, did, didn't did God kill all the firstborn? It, doesn't he have a record of doing that firsthand? Or am God I wrong in that? The firstborn? No, the yeah. favor of Egypt ordered that the firstborn would be killed so that the Son of God could be killed. And and what okay. what made it so wait, that wait 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 a second wait a second my understanding with that is is that when God was talking to Moses, um, God informed Moses that he had turned Pharaoh's heart. So God manipulated the mind of Pharaoh and knew that he wouldn't do it. Then asked him to do it and told him that if he didn't, he would kill all the firstborn and put no. the put the symbol on the door. No, no, so no, the Pharaoh that said that he would, the Pharaoh said that he would. Uh, God said that he would hardened. Pharaoh's heart. Now, Correct. Cons- you have to understand this. Uh, his heart was already hardened, and it was not. It was going to go. Let's let's say you've got hardened uh, by God. A, a trajectory of a bullet that's going to go where it's going to go when you pull the trigger. Period. Okay. And, and let's say let's say yeah, all God did, did was bring it to the ground quicker instead of allowing the bullet to pa- travel two miles before it hit the ground. He brought it to the ground after a mile. That's all he did. See, God hardened his heart. His heart was already where it was going to be. God just brought things to a pass according to his time scale and his way to make sure that it happened in his way when he wanted it to. It was already hard. His heart was going to be what it was. God just uh, kick-started the process and said, you know, uh, that he made it uh, hap- come to fruition perhaps maybe faster than he wanted, it, than the favor would yeah. have. We, for we, his we, purpose, see, God manipulates the hearts of men for his purpose when necessary. He didn't make Pharaoh's heart that way. He just, he just uh, directed it so that it would come to its fruition. So he could have directed the heart of the gunman in the <laughs> school shooting. He could have if he wanted there's to. There's nothing impossible to God. Okay, so there's nothing impossible to God, but he didn't do anything. He allowed huh? the children to be God murdered. culpable because he didn't do what man... Wait, man did something evil and God's guilty because man did it? No, no, no. Well, God did make man, right? And he made uh, them in his image. Right. And God is, is pretty evil in the Bible. No, I God mean, is not evil. No, he you're right. If God no does, if God evil. murders, it's okay because it's God. Uh, God if devil, if the, the Satan murders, then it's bad. Mm. Cactopus. God doesn't murder. God levies justice. There's a difference between God's well. Justice if if and he murder. kills a human being, that's, that's something they call the atheists will never acknowledge. Doesn't matter if you're God or me. It doesn't matter. Well, the reason you don't recognize it is because you don't recognize the holiness of God. That's well, why you're. I actually was playing. raised a uh, Christian uh, my whole fucking life. I'm sorry, I keep cussing. It's okay. It's so you were raised Christian. That doesn't confused. change what you think now, right? No, no. What I think now is that I tried, like you do, to defend Christianity for a very long time, Trump, and I, I often found that the arguments against it were, were pretty accurate, and the arguments for it were pretty fallacious. Well, I'm sorry you felt came out that way. Well, maybe I mean, maybe I you're a victim, too. Tried. But but to say that, I, because I tried, I wasn't just, like, brain dead to, you know, and, and believed whatever I was told. No, I actually, actually really tried, like, yeah, you, I, like you do, like you do, but be, I came to atheism. You followed and, your heart. And for this, I will be punished. Even though I tried, just like you do, to come to the truth, I will be punished. <laughs> no, you followed your heart. What did Satan... Did, well, then uh, God did, made did, my wait, heart wait. that way. God, God, God hardened the heart of the Pharaoh? And he hardened maybe, my heart. Maybe too. your own heart has been hardened by the world, and but it, it was already where it is. So I deserve to be punished Cox, forever. Cox. Hey, Cox, I, I don't I, know. Can I, I can't judge. It's not me to judge. No. Guys, by the way, real quick, I'm out of yeah. here, guys. I'm still recording, so I'll give you guys a little copy uh, tomorrow. But uh, thanks for having me on. I'll still record. Cock, thank you very much. Dark Matter, I'll talk to you later. Grappling, I'll talk to you later. Negation, I'll see you Saturday. All right. Nephi, thanks, thanks again. There. Take care, bro. Uh, hey, um, Nef, could, I'd like to... Could I... Could I, I let, me, let me get one little thing, and then I'll, I'll be off real quick. Nephi, just to, to be clear, Exodus 12, 29, and I'm reading from King James because I know that's what you use. And it came to pass at midnight, the Lord smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. Um, I'm not understanding how Pharaoh did that. Okay. That Give was the God passage, that killed And I don't never discuss scripture without knowing exactly what passage I'm talking okay. about. Because uh, I've had atheists okay. quote yeah, things I'll, that aren't even in yeah, the Bible. Yeah, please go ahead and turn to this. It's Exodus okay. 12, 29. Okay. One two colon two niner, um, and it came to pass that at midnight the Lord smote 
all the firstborn in the land of Egypt from the firstborn, and then it goes on. What I'm not understanding is, is that to me, I don't see how you can interpret that anyone but God. Ah, uh, this is actual. one of the plagues of Egypt. Yes. Yes, correct. This is okay. So God, God did. Yeah, God did. He he killed them. Now, first off, how did he kill them? Did he did he cause them to writhe and riff and torment and oh they did or maybe God snuffed them out like that and they suffered. Wait nothing. a second. Yeah. How does that matter? Wait, how wait, God no, killed the it children? It does matter. It does matter. Wait a second. It does matter. Consider how did how does it say how God smoked them? No. D is God throughout the Word? Doesn't God describe Himself as merciful, compassionate, forgiving, even unwilling to torment the wicked? According completely according to everything they deserve, but he will be do, even do leaning think, upon them. Of course, that, that is. Wait, let me finish, wicked? please. Let do you me think finish. Okay, wicked? so so God God describe is describes and describes himself as merciful, loving, and forgiving, all throughout the Bible. Now, I think it stands to reason, knowing the character of God, that God didn't cause these little children to torment. No, when it says He took their lives, I think He meant it. He took them. So they what? didn't suffer. So what? Okay, now secondly, if wait, God I'm not took, quite no, no, wait, no, I'm no, not quite no, no, no. I'm gonna, If he took their lives, God, if he God took their, okay, fine, but well, let me finish. No, if no, he no, took no, their no, lives, no, okay, now no, what did he do with their souls? Bye bye. All right, fuck you. If God just took my daughter's life instead of making her fucking die in agony, you know, fuck you and fuck your God. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs>